bridge actually was here, it's been here about 170 years, there's been a bridge in this spot. And as the, over time, as a wooden bridges will, they wear out and you need to maintain them. So this bridge was taken out and rebuilt, uh, placed back into the original position that it was. Uh, so I'm down here today to give a little history of the area and the engineers are going to be talking about the history of the bridge. From a conservation point of view, we're charged not only with conserving the land, but with conserving our connection to the land. It connected roads and people. It connected development sites. It allowed people to transfer produce. And this site has a long, long historical connection to the working landscape was one of the first mill sites in the town of Charlotte. And this, of course, was one of the first bridges that tied the community together. Commemoration of the rehabilitation of the Seguin Bridge. Mark Sargent and John Weaver are the VTrans engineers who are responsible for the rehabilitation of the bridge. And they'll describe the repairs and why they needed to be done. And then they'll take questions. I'd first like to discuss with you Melrose Huff. <laughs> she tirelessly came down here and chronicled the rehabilitation of this cover bridge. Uh, and to that, she deserves credit. As some of you may be aware, covered bridges uh, are constantly being updated and renewed to uh, keep them up to date. They're, they're kind of like old barns and houses. They, they need maintenance all the time. Uh, many of them uh, have had several applications of siding and roofing and flooring. That's, that's pretty, pretty common for a replacement. It's a unique system of lateral bracing in the roof, you won't find it on very many covered bridges in Vermont. I've enjoyed walking through it over the years and uh, occasionally driving through it. And that's, I think it's great to have it restored. But it was also a place where on the end boards, if they have the end boards, they used to have end boards on here, that would be a place where people would advertise circuses coming to town. It's connecting our community. It, it connects our community, physically and emotionally. I'd also like to thank the three members of the Education and Outreach Working Group uh, who just made this all possible. Um, Meg Berlin, yes, Susan Blood, and Mary Van Blank. One of the reasons that I am here today is not only as, as part of the historical society, but also the house that Mel lives in up the hill was my great-great-grandparents' house, my great-grandmother's house after that. And so we, I've been walking through this bridge for a long time. Uh, it has quite a bit of sentimental value for me to have to see this back up and in place. I just think it's it's so unique to New England and it's really special that the both the state and the, and the turnout from this small community to celebrate it uh, you know it's a heritage that that we cherish well it's a chance for us to gather and celebrate the restoration of this bridge which means that it will carry us into the future a future which is, is very uh, very needing in bridges so, um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to another 100 years of this bridge. <laughs>